Hi YouTube and welcome to update 2 of the building of the RNLI 7 class lifeboat airfix kit um, and as you can see in front of you uh, we have come along quite a lot this week so first thing uh, the sides are now glued on that was quite a um, annoying task shall we say um, they basically would not stay there um, and you had to somehow glue the back um, that side and that side onto this base piece all in one go um, so as you can imagine it's not the easiest of tasks um, but we got there eventually <laughs> um, and then we had a task that should be simple but wasn't um, which seemed to also be a nightmare the uh, deck that's one whole piece along the top here and that just goes on top but it just wouldn't stay there it kept popping up so um, a lot of elastic bands and weights on top of it and all sorts um, and eventually I got it to glue down and stay there um, so that's that that's the hull and the hull is now finished minus the propellers and the um, pieces on the back that help the bow lift because this um, 7 class and the Tamar class and I think their new Shannon class um, when they pick up speed in the water they go like that and they basically race along you can see it there the bow will pick up out of the water and the whole thing leans backwards um, just to uh, help it go faster and in rough seas that will keep the propellers in the water so it will keep going forward um, whereas with the older boats it could like rock anywhere and quite a lot of the time it would sort of be like that and it would be going nowhere because the propellers are just hanging out the water and spinning in air um, but yeah that's the hull finished uh, apart from those bits that I just mentioned then I have first thing I've done is the first part of the superstructure is on um, this isn't for another few steps yet but I literally couldn't resist so there you go that's the very front bit um, there um, then it sort of goes up like that and then we have the main windscreen that sort of goes like that and then we sort of build up and then we have the sort of upstairs part if you like um, outside steering uh, area um, inside the door is now on that also took quite a long time it see it doesn't look like a lot if I say the number of pieces but um, it has taken quite a while so that um, door is now on there and inside it is a little window um, because that windows there I had to paint it before I glued the window in um, and I couldn't glue the window in any later because it um, goes in from the inside so that's pretty hard seeing as this is now complete and that was the only hole um, I lost the door in there once that was a bit of a nightmare trying to get the door out from this hole that is this big in a hole where it can rattle it around that big um, but with a pair of tweezers we got that back eventually um, so the door is painted and that's got its window in it and the first sort of wall is now in um, that's there and all of these pieces down here are now ready to go on so the bench seat here um, they all have little holes in it as you can see um, so I'll put them on, I won't glue them but I'll put them on and I'll come back to you in a second okay so that's the rest of these big sort of main features on now um, as you can see it's not all perfect they'll be like that um, the, there's the bench seat which I just mentioned um, that, that seems to lean up against the handle and it says that in the instructions as well um, I'm not sure if that's right with the handle being behind the bench sheet which seems a bit weird but um, I'm going to do it like that because that's what the instructions say uh, this isn't all that will be in here as you can see there's plenty of other holes so there'll be the main uh, three seats at the front with the steering uh, for the cocks and mechanic um, people that sit at the front then there's navigators and um, people that sit behind um, so all of those seats were going um, the main thing about this though is airfix um, tells you just to glue the superstructure on top um, and you then can't see anything inside apart from the tiny little windows um, which I think is a bit stupid um, my dad did that and you basically can't see anything he spent 
half of the time on the model building all this inside bit and then you couldn't see it. Um, so I'm going to see if I can modify this model a bit um, so that the whole superstructure can just be lifted off and then you can see inside and I might even get some little crew and I'll just sit them inside. The other thing which I've done, which I'm not meant to do for a good four or five pages yet, um, considering each page is taking about a week at the moment, that's quite a long way off. The y -boat. Um Most of you probably have no idea what the y -boat is because most of you are model railways, not uh, people for boats. Um, this kind of links between the two being an airfix model. Okay, so on one of my videos of Sulcum Lifeboat, uh, I think it was the recovery from training one or something, um, you saw they bought the Y-Boat in separately and recovered it once they are moored up on the pontoon. Um, much like this, this is a picture of I think Chroma's um, Tamar class doing this. Uh, I'm building a 7 class, just by the way, remember that. 7 class, Tamar class. Um, so the Tamar class has an opening back door which has this in it. Uh, the 7 class, uh, I have a tiny little model here, which is uh, yeah, you get the idea. Um, you can see here, there's a tiny little boat there. That is the Y boat. Um, and that is a crane on the back of the boat. So um, if they've got a small job, they just lift the Y boat down and they'll go in to investigate where the bigger boat can't go. Um, and that's basically um, what this is. So this will sit up on the top deck, sort of here, next to the crane. Um, and I did consider building it without the crane um, because when the 7 class was brand new it didn't have cranes and then about a year or two years or something after they um, first started building them someone said hey let's put a crane on it and everyone went oh what a good idea um, so slowly but surely they updated them all um, and they've now got cranes on it as you can see here um, or here and there is the crane somewhere in that box um, with the rest of the pieces um, so that will be going on at some point um, but I have just built this early so there you go in effect we now have two boats um, so yeah that boat won't be um, put on there for quite a while yet um, but there you go that's basically everything that's happened on uh, the airfix kit this week um, I'm just gonna put quick reminder in now this is the base for a micro diorama that I am going to build um, today this week is your last week uh, Friday is the closing date um, and then I will be doing a video announcing who's won um, so you're all allowed to put in as many entries as you like I just thought I'd add that um, and yeah just so check out my video on that because um, the uh, competition closes on Friday. So that's pretty much all. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.